Guess what's going down in New York? Donald Trump offered 100 million bucks. Here you go, Letitia. Here you go, Arthur Angorin, or whatever his name is. I can never say it. I'm not even going to try. He's really kind of a nothing, nothing, nobody judge. I don't mean to be cruel, but he really is. And suddenly now he's in the front page of every newspaper and he's kind of loving it. A little too much, if you ask me. And so is Letitia, if you ask me. Anyway, he, he put forward a $100 million bond today, but you see that's not enough because she wants some $454 million. Actually, with interest, it's upwards of $500 million. So she wants a really big number. And he said, here you go. And she's like freaking out saying, absolutely not. No, no way, because you know what she wants to do? Nobody has $400 million, by the way, or four hundred fifty million. Nobody has that kind of money just hanging around doing nothing. You're going to have to sell stuff. You're going to have to do something. And that's exactly what she wants. She wants this asset sale, this fire sale of his assets like Trump Tower. She told us so just the other day. Watch. Four days after a judge ordered Donald Trump to pay $355 million for a decade of fraud, New York Attorney General Letitia James says she's prepared to do everything she can to make sure the former president pays his fine including, she told us, seizing the buildings that bear his name. If he does not have funds uh, to pay off the judgment, uh, then we will seek, uh, you know, judgment enforcement mechanisms in court, and we will ask the judge to seize his assets. And that is where we are right now, ladies and gentlemen. So he puts forward the $100 million bond at 9% interest, by the way, that's a pretty hefty interest fee, but, you know, interest rates have been going up a little bit, but 9% is a lot. So 9%, what would that be? $9 million he has to pay just to give her this $100 million and say, hey, you know, let, let this tide me over until we get to the appellate court. Well, the appellate court just came out and ruled moments ago that, nope, this is not going to do it. We're actually not going to allow you to pause this $554 million payment we want this near half a billion dollars in our hands right now. It tells you how hard up New York City is while you wait for the appeal. So this is, I mean, I just, it, it's so crazy. Now you can understand like legally speaking, right? They're sitting there saying, okay, we got to dot our I's, we got to cross our T's. This is how it's done. We can't make a special exception. But what's so disgusting and so wild is the amount of, that they're leveling on him in terms of a penalty. It doesn't make any sense. Again, I've, I've been a business reporter my entire career, so this one is of particular interest to me, and I understand it quite well. So you got Deutsche Bank, that's the bank, right, that gave him the loan, and you got Donald Trump. He wanted to borrow money. He went to Deutsche Bank, and he said, hey, you know what, I got all these assets. I got Mar-a-Lago. I got this, that, and the other, and they're worth X, Y, Z. And he made that determination of what he thought they were worth. And he probably had some supporting documentation, but it also was like buyer beware in terms of the, the loan person, the person that's lending, like beware. This is like when you get a home equity line of credit and they say, okay, you know, if your house appraises, then fine, it'll go through. But if they think it's not going to appraise, then it's not going to go through. So the onus is on the financial institution, right? To do the due diligence, which Deutsche Bank did. So Deutsche Bank decides, okay, he's a worthwhile credit risk. We'll take this risk on. They do the deal. Everybody gets paid back. There's no victim. And yet Letitia James emerges out of nowhere and says, uh-uh, I don't think that mar a is worth that much money. And then they went through all these things, and apparently he was off in the square footage. Now, that's not cool. You shouldn't misquote your square footage. However... However, again, I would reiterate that that wasn't enough to justify a $354 million fine plus interest. It just absolutely wasn't. So th they're just off their rocker on this one. Good old city of New York, I'll tell you, it's not a place where you'd really want to be investing nowadays, now would you, right? Because, hey, you could fall victim anytime, any moment, any day to the likes of political actors that are not on your side that want to take you down. For goodness sakes, you got Jeb Bush writing in the Wall Street Journal just yesterday in defense of Donald Trump, a man he ran against, a man that he really doesn't like. So when Jeb Bush is coming out and saying this is going too darn far, I'm telling you, it ha I mean, I've said it from the beginning, it's gone way too darn far. The fact that it was a case to begin with was extreme. 
And then that ruling, my gosh, it just knocked me off my chair. It's insane. And now the appellate court is saying, hey, you got to come up with the money. So the question is, does he now have to sell things? I predict, ladies and gentlemen, if he does, he's going straight to the White House because Americans will say, I've had it. I can't take this. You guys are so corrupt. You're so disgusting. You're so radical and rabid. You look at every single poll that's been coming out recently, the more they go after him, the more he increases in popularity. And that's when you talk about this, this, this group in the middle. The group in the middle is sitting there watching this going, well, gosh, I mean, if they can do that to him, what can they do to me? People inherently don't really trust the government. And they certainly don't trust the government now, not after the Hunter Biden laptop. Oh, that's just Russian misinformation fed to you courtesy of the Russians and Rudy Giuliani. <clears throat> Except that it was true and it was being investigated by the FBI and now we know why. And then, oh, COVID couldn't possibly have come from that Wuhan lab where they were investigating coronaviruses. Nope, couldn't possibly. Well, now every three-letter agency has come out saying, yep, indeed, it came from that Wuhan lab, except for the CIA, which remains divided on it. It, it. It's too much, right? Like at some point, people just get worn down and they say, enough is enough. And I think that this particular case, if he has to sell Trump Tower, he's going straight to the White House. I mean, there you go. It, the, the script writes itself. And the Democrats are too stupid to figure it out. They figure if they just put up their ailing Joe, it'll all just be fine. It's not going to be fine.